When I think about the liberation of the Shia, I think about the Lady of Heaven, a film on the life of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her. Her ups, her downs, and all that she went through, her life with the beloved Prophet, and her killing at the hands of Umar, along with her unborn child. What took the Shia so long to tell this story? After countless prophets came and went, killed, their successors betrayed, and communities led astray, the Muhammadan age began. The Prophet's family had one goal, to preserve the light of God on earth, and to ensure this light was crystallized, giving it the momentum to propel into a distant future. Perhaps into a distant future where information becomes immortal, readily available, unerasable, where the world is interconnected through an information network, able to transmit knowledge instantaneously across all corners of the earth. Perhaps into a distant future that we find ourselves in today. But in this era, the Shia have held this truth to themselves. So what answer can be given to why it took the Shia so long? An inferiority complex? A priority to appease others? A lack of self-confidence? A lack of self-identity? A lack of self-awareness? An inability to recognize that what you hold and keep to yourself is the very answer to all the world's problems. A film on the life of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her, may not have been welcomed by the Shia population, but today, most value the importance of telling this story. This is what His Eminence Sheikh Al Habib has been teaching and teaches in his 2011 series, The Liberation of the Shia, where he also calls for excellence in all we do, superiority in every field and in every walk of life, honor and dignity in our religion, identity and community. But only once we do justice to the Lady of Heaven can we flourish and give rise to the nation of the Shia, who can truly represent the Lady to the world. This is what I've learnt from Sheikh Al Habib, and this is what I'd call the liberation of the Shia.